another way of dealing with this contrast issue and this brightness issue of a clip is to use the luma curve so what I'm going to do is a luma corrector I'm just going to turn it off so we got back to the original shot and then I'm going to go to the effects again and I'm going to I've got luma typed in the search box we've looked at the luma corrector now we want to look at the luma curve I've got my footage selected bear in mind I've moved my whole workspace around just for demonstration purposes so I'm double clicking it's gone onto the footage go back to the effects controls there's the luma curve now at the moment we've got a YC waveform at the bottom here you can see we've still got this very restricted luma range we're only going up to about 70 something there and only down to about 20 here so we need to increase this range still to give ourselves a wide luma range now the way that you understand a curve is that this is the dark point and this is the light point now if I pull this point down on this scale here I'm forcing more and more pixels to turn to grey so if you look at the waveform here as I pull this down all the bright pixels will be forced towards midpoint grey so if I put it down here they're pretty much all gone to midpoint grey and these are the dark pixels over here and if I pull that up to the same point the whole thing turns grey basically I'm saying that all the pixels are pretty much completely grey that's what you're doing by playing around with these two items that way so that's on this scale it's saying okay reduce the brightness of these pixels but if I want to increase the brightness of the pixels rather than pulling it on this scale I pull it across on this scale here so take this item across and as I pull it across you're seeing that more and more pixels are being pushed towards white and I can get to pretty much up to a hundred there and equally it's the same at the bottom if I take the dark point and I pull that across more and more pixels are being forced to black it's saying all pixels with this value and less can go to pure black and all pixels with this value and greater can go to pure white and all the ones in between are stretching between that particular range and you can see we've now got a much wider range here now I don't think that this particular effect is as easy to control as the luma corrector however you can still then say well do I want to change the midpoint or do I want to change multiple points moving them more dark or more bright so for instance if I click now in the middle I add a point and that point can then be pulled towards the darks and now I'm darkening down the whole image while still maintaining a bright wide range of pixels so I still got my darks and I still got my brights so this is still pretty much close to being blown out and these darks these blacks are very black so I've changed the overall contrast or pulled the gamma point down that's a gamma point in the middle but I can have multiple gamma points so say I want the dark points a lot darker so I'm pulling it down now and saying the darker points need to be darker but I want some of the lighter points to be lighter so I can actually pull those and pull them up but it does produce some funny results so if I pull this up a long way you can see we're getting a very weird look but also sometimes the graph goes a bit berserk and uh, it's quite hard to control in comparison to the luma corrector although it is doable now if you finish with the point just drag it off and this point here I'm just going to pull it up and I'm just saying really I just want the whole thing darkened down just a tad so this is again before and after so we've achieved a very similar thing but I actually feel that the luma corrector is quite a lot more powerful to achieve this than the luma curves but do bear in mind you still have secondary color correction with the luma curve so you can go in open up secondary color correction and again as we've done before you can create a mask so that you are just affecting one particular thing and then actually you can play around with its brightness or its contrast so that's quite powerful in what you can get into when you're using secondary color correction but if I was doing a luma correction or I wanted to increase the range and play with the contrast and get the look I was looking for my first port of call would be the luma corrector maybe sometimes the luma curve now there are other curves there are things called the RGB curves which is a slightly different approach to playing with the brightness and the contrast of a shot and we'll have a look at that in the next tutorial